some reason or another, North Korea decided against launching any major provocations to mark a number of key anniversaries in April. Most experts believe it's because the regime bowed to pressure from its long-standing ally, China. But will Beijing continue to keep the heat on Pyongyang? Connie Kim has this report. China has shown a tougher stance on North Korea for its nuclear weapons and missiles following the summit earlier this month between President Trump and Xi. To show it's serious about the issue on day two of that summit, China's customs agency issued an official order telling trading companies to send back shipments of North Korean coal. This month has seen intense scrutiny of the North, which celebrated its late founder Kim Il-sung's birthday and the anniversary of the founding of its army, possible occasions for it to carry out provocations. China's foreign ministry warned North Korea not to take actions that raise tensions on the Korean peninsula, and Beijing state media threatened that oil supplies to the north could be cut, a brutal blow for Pyongyang, which relies heavily on China for oil. So far, pressure from China and the U.S. seems to be working. Pyongyang did not end up launching missiles or testing a nuclear device on those dates. The Chinese have a lot more room, I think, than they let on. Um, they can go after North Korean money in Chinese banks, for example. Um, this oil embargo that we're seeing right now, again, we, you know, we don't know how serious the Chinese are about it, but it seems to be having an effect. They could restrict air choreo. I mean, there are lots of things they could do. For the U.S., it's important for China to play an active role in putting a stop to North Korea's nuclear weapons development. Outlaw regime. They have uh, built nuclear, a nuclear weapons capability. They've now threatened uh, the west coast of the United States with uh, the possibility that in the future, in just a few years, they might have a nuclear warhead and ballistic missile capable of hitting um, California and Washington and Oregon. But now that those key anniversaries in the regime have passed without provocations, China seems to be moving back towards its original North Korea policy. Air China is resuming flights between Beijing and Pyongyang next month after a three-week suspension. And an editorial by China's state-run Global Times floated the idea of offering carrots to North Korea, claiming sticks alone might not stop the North's nuclear and missile threats. Connie Kim, Arirang News.